advanced level. I need more time to work on it. Well, that's going to have to wait. What about the troops? Surely the troops ready? Of course we're ready. Who said that? It was Vagabond. I didn't know our ventriloquist training, Lily. That wasn't me. Ranston, your fleas are escaping. Just kidding. <laughs> Victor, where are you? He's such a good ventriloquist. He can throw his voice when he's not even in the room. Victor, the joke's over. Get the troop over here. Petunia! She must be ready by now. No, nope, she'll be doing her makeup. Thanks for sprucing up, Vagabond. I'll take him now. I patched his jacket, painted his face, and washed his hair. Because I'm worth it. <laughs> <laughs> He's as bad as Petunia. I'm starting without her. She'll be waiting for her nail varnish to dry. How do I look, darling? My dear, you look quite charming, but you should really get Lily to do your hair. She's absolutely marvellous for mine. I've got an invention <laughs> to help with that. Ah, ah take that one bag away. It'll ruin my hair. Ouch, I might be a dummy, but I have feelings, you know. Sorry, Victor, I mean vagabond. Well, are we all quite ready? Let's get this show on the road. Whoop. <laughs>
Good evening, Colonel. I assume you must be wondering why I've set up this little meeting. Yes, our expertise is in cures and remedies, not mechanics and steam. Well, well, fellow, this is more than just mechanics and steam that you're looking at. This is the final stages of my master plan to build the greatest show on Earth, in space, and across the universe. Oh, you don't need to be more distant, boss. Gentlemen, <laughs> the coming is about to cause the collapse of every travelling show in the world. You better believe it, fellas. Just a few more shows to take care of, and a few more, uh, acquisitions to make, and then I'll be ready to launch my great steampunk spectacular. All our new sh um, in all our new inventions and acts will make the other shows look pathetic. That is, if there are any left. As I said, we've got a few more shows to take care of and a few more acquisitions. But why do you need us? Well, because you are entrepreneurs. And I know you think the same way I do, being an entrepreneur myself. You don't mind stretching the rules a little bit for the sake of entrepreneurial risk, and you have something I need for my entrepreneurial plan. <coughs> Oh yes, what is it that you want? Uh, yes, one thing. What's an entrepreneur? Ignore him! Has anything you like? I have a wide range of entrepreneurial products. Why and snide. Location, location, location. Film casting? Concentrate! <laughs> You, all you have to do is, is um, park your carriage right outside Pickle's travelling show. People are used to seeing you there. So? You can easily slip into Pickle's trailers without being noticed and perform a few entrepreneurial tasks for us. Yes. Now I have a few more shows to take care of and a few more acquisitions to make. That would be no problem for the right entrepreneurial rewards. Good. Let's go to my office and discuss the fine details. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Harry, get me out of here, who did it and his great escape. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Tonight I'd like to introduce my lovely assistant for two. I will first be confined in a straitjacket. <laughs> Secondly, my feet will be bound together and the tops of my arms secured further so there is no wriggle room. Se uh, finally, I will be immobilised by heavy chains. My escape will be complete, completed in 15 seconds. Start the clock. Right, first get my arms free. Nearly there. I'll try the chest plate with my Uh, perhaps another 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> There's something in the back! I didn't see it! There's no way you'll get out.
it's been tampered with. As soon as I put it on, a metal clasp blocked. There was nothing I could do. It's a disaster. We are ruined. Are you okay? Did you see anything? Yes, there were two of them. I was able to draw my voice at them, and they didn't know where the voice was coming from. Wrecked a few things, then scarpered. It's like the sand travelling show and the trumpet circus. They all closed down. No one really knew why. Now it's happening to us. Oh, what are we going to do? Petunia! Four girls can't make a nice cup of tea. <laughs> My trailer, but my new mechanized locking system stopped them. All my inventions are safe. Yes! That's great. We're going to need your new secret invention more than ever, Prof. What is it you've got up your sleeve? His hands. Very <laughs> Well, I think it's time for the big reveal. Herbert, your worries are over. My invention is complete and it works. We just need a trial run. Really? That's great. Oh, that's amazing. What? You have got to tell us. The rest of you will find out very soon. What do you make of this? It looks like a label from a packet or something. Pimple poultice also kills warts, <coughs> oils, bad breath and fungal infection on the feet. Why would this be here? I think someone's dropped it. Yes, and I think we're going shopping tomorrow. Thank you. 
Oh, I will think we'll take a packet. It should be very handy to have in reserve. A good decision, madame. That'll be six pence. Thank you. You're very kind. Just like your Mrs. Tickle. Oh, we were sorry we couldn't... Um, Yes, we were sorry we couldn't help you, although it was just as well. The show was sabotaged last night, and everyone was in the right state. Really? Oh. What? Do you think you might know something about this? I really can't talk right now. I'll come and meet you in Mrs. Tickle's trailer tonight. What? I thought you had a I thought you had a flying duster. 
Oh, did you? Sorry. No, the business is called Flying Giant Dusters. You're very thorough. And I have to say, oh, you're a bold could do with a little good once over. Get off. We want inventions. Flying Dusters, they will never take off. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. And you're out, Mrs. Tinkle. <laughs> this has been a waste of my time. H how am I going to start my <coughs> steampunk spectacular without mind-blowing inventions and wacky ideas? I need that Professor Pickle. He's the man, him and his inventions. I hope Eklund's Knight have done the deed. They're here now.
I said my invention needs testing, and it looked brilliantly, thanks to my wonderful cast. Uh, I'm not with you. His invention is a bioscope. It's a, it records moving pictures. Yes, I set up the machine and Herbert here controlled it. I wondered where you guys were when Obadiah and his gun raided us. Yes, thanks to your warning we were able to set a cat trap and catch them red-handed. Yes, I have a fitting holder in the flute. I have stole the flute safely and it's beautiful for the hand I'm riding across. What? <laughs> My daisy hat? Oh, you're joking. I thought it was strange that Frosty should treat the fleece so badly. Of course, we knew it would have no effect if the children of Mark's fleas. What about Hackle's knife? They're caught by the police running off. They are now safely behind bars along the blast pipe in Ratfink. And and all their all, and all their evidence of their evil deeds are uh, and all their evidence of their evil deeds were caught because of, thanks to the bioscope. Yes, thanks to Prof, our future is safe and we have a new scientific invention that will draw the crowds. <coughs> Pickles moving picture show and our first show can be Crime Doesn't Pay or Obadiah Blast Pipe and the Magnet of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, although it's pity didn't get to the railroad tracks, imagine the drama in that. It would have been my finest hour. There will be many more opportunities for you to choose your acting chance, my dear. Well, now that our jobs are safe, we can continue with our usual acts. But this time, the bioscope is our headliner. Never mind, Pickle's moving picture show. I hope you all realise that now we have the greatest show. <laughs> Wait, yay, well done, Dad and Prof. Father's agreed to let me open the World Life Park and I'll stay at Denton Abbey. We've even offered jobs to the cogs if they want them. You never know. First the travelling show, now the a bioscope. Who knows where inventions will take us next? Talking and moving pictures? Talking moving pictures in colour. Talking moving pictures in colour? In your own home? Hmm. <laughs> Talking moving colour pictures in a little frame that you can carry around with you. Well, that really <laughs> is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, never mind that! We now have the greatest show! <laughs> Everything you ever want It's everything you ever need